from Ontario asks, what is a feminized seed? Okay, so feminized seeds are interesting. They're, it's a seed that you know will grow up to be a female plant. Mm -hmm. And that they can occur either accidentally or intentionally. And because of that, there's a lot of confusion around them and they have a very bad reputation that is partially deserved. And let, me, let me explain why. So a plant, typically you only want female plants in your garden. And the, if you're growing up from seed, that means you're, as they mature and start to flower, the males show themselves to be males and you kill them. Now, sometimes a plant will go hermaphrodite, which means a, a female plant turns male and pollinates the rest of the garden. And that's a disaster mm -hmm. for an indoor grower. That's basically how you lose everything because you've just you have all the overheaded costs of doing a grow, except for the crop is essentially worthless. Now, because it was a female plant that went to hermaphrodite and then pollinated all the other female plants, the genetic material that those seeds produce lack any male DNA and are therefore guaranteed to grow up female. They're, that is a feminized seed. Now, very often people who have accidentally produced a crop of feminized seeds don't want to experience a total financial loss from it, so they then sell the seeds as feminized seeds. That's a disaster waiting to happen, because what you've just done there is selectively bred for hermaphrodite, and there's a very high likelihood that those seeds, are, yes, they're going to crack and grow up to be female, but they're also going to, you know, they're going to go hermaphrodite, and they're going to pollinate the thing, and it's just going to create m more and more hermaphrodite plants. So because that's such a common occurrence, a lot of people hate feminized seeds because they just associate them with that problem. Now that said, there are ways of intentionally making feminized seeds that avoid that problem. And there, there's a chemical called colloidal silver that induces a plant to go hermaphrodite. Also, there, if you mess with the light cycle of a plant, you can mm -hmm. induce it to go hermaphrodite. Also, a lot of plants, if you just over ripen them, like towards the end of their life, if they aren't exposed to any pollen, at the very end, they start producing their own pollen as a last ditch effort to reproduce. Now, if you use one of those techniques, you're not selectively breeding for anything. You're just, you know, you're forcing a plant that had no predisposition to go hermaphrodite to go hermaphrodite. And under those circumstances, it appears to be okay. And those seeds aren't predisposed to going hermaphrodite. Now, it's not as cut and dry as that because there's some evidence that unlike animals, plants genetic, the ex life experience of a plant can affect its genetics and we're just beginning to understand how. So this isn't completely open and shut, but I, I personally have made feminized seeds and had good experiences with them. So I, I'm not completely against feminized seeds, but it's kind of a complicated issue. There is a lot to be said for just the traditional male to female breeding. 